to join proceedings. He'll rest up to making his way back on here. And then I can imagine that he may well push on. This is uh, Ruben Thompson. He's just going to give himself a little bit of sustenance. And it looks like um, that gap is now extended. So the record will show that these two, plus Louis up the roads, will make up today's podium. But what a day it's been. Memorable in the darkest fashion, I think you might say. Then again, the blessing is, I guess it could have been even worse. So let's just hold on to that crumb of comfort, shall we? 2.8 kilometres to go. Louis Menke is going to take this dark stage. Difficult for the riders as well, Brian, you know, just to sort of try and clear the mind and and, uh, and get on with the task that they're required to complete. And so I give them credit, nothing else, um, from just doing what they've been told to do. I just uh, try and park this day, eh? The thing is, Carlton, I've been in pr pretty much every kind of facet of, of this sport, from sports directing to race control as a rider um, involved in the media. So... It's, it's kind of very unique position that I've been in in the past and, you know, I've got many kind of hats and over all these hats, it's just always a very difficult decision to make, no matter what kind of area you're in. As a sports director, you just want the safety of your riders, same as race control. Um, everybody wants just the safety of the riders. We, we know that everybody is, you know, conscious and talking and, you know, in the best hands, but... As a rider, I've, I've never been in a situation where I've had to race after an incident like this. This mm. is a kind of first for me. And, you know, I've, if if I was Louis' manager like I was in the past, I wouldn't like to put him in this position. Um, I know that other sports directors, you know, they've probably been told that, you know, what to do. I don't think it's Louis' decision. His decision may have no. been, yeah. you know, you want to neutralise it, but such as things in life that other things um, you know ha have have been looked at and for Inter Marche to look back at this to, to win this stage that that's the important thing and you know they've been allowed to do it um, by the kind of race the race direction and control so it's been a difficult day for everybody um, Louis just gone through the motion done the professional job as you've said in a kilometre's time he would take victory, um, and that will be just the end. Close the doors, move on. Um, but it's just to lose the riders that we've lost today with that major incident is. It's just it's it's terrifying that um, you know we're still reminded all the time that, you know this sport this sport of ours is is brutal at times. Well, it's not the stuffing out of me. It's, um, it's not the stuffing out of this race. And possibly, we don't want to overdwell on it because we don't know what the medical results are going to be. It may well have compromised the season and indeed some careers. Let's just hope that that's not the case. Here we go. Louis Menkes is going to draw to a close what has been a, a difficult day for everybody, both the riders, us as commentators, and you at home. And we, we thank you for your kind thoughts and indeed uh, your sensitivity on a, on a day like today. Nobody, I don't think, has been to blame. It was a very strange place to have an incident. It didn't look like an overly focused corner. I believe there was a fuel spill there that made the road surface unstable. We'd already had a preview of it from our breakaway with a crash, and then, of course, the incident that followed. Louis Menkis raises his arms in a half-hearted manner, shakes his head, and they will, of course, sprint for second place here. But it prevents a hole in the race results, I guess, they will time everyone over the line simply to find out where their position was on the day, but the times will not be held to account. And I don't think anyone can be either. 
it was just desperate ill fortune to my mind today. They padded up the corner that we saw. Well, they come home, but they won't be celebrating here. Ruben Thompson just in second place here behind Louis Menkes and behind him, our friend from Burgos, Karol Vacek. Well, the breakaway still duking it out for coveted fourth, fifth, and ultimately sixth place here. And now we wait for the peloton. A bit of a hard victory, says Louis. Well, we're going to draw ourselves to a close here. Thank you for being so kind. And indeed, let's just think of the riders, shall we, before tomorrow. We will see you tomorrow when the Basque Country resumes. Luis Menkes, uh, congrats, congrats, Luis. A great victory for you, but uh, in a set day for cycling. Yeah, it's uh, not the way you want to win. Uh, yeah, I'm just happy. Uh, yeah, I felt good, and uh, yeah, if there was a chance for the break, uh, uh, yeah, I think I would have been ready to fight for the stage. So, yeah, but it's unfortunate. Like, uh, yeah, it takes a bit the pleasure out of it. So, yeah, it's maybe a victory, but. Yeah, it doesn't really feel like it because yeah, you want it to be fair for everyone. It's your second victory in the, in the World Tour. Yeah, if you can uh, really count it like that. Uh, yeah, we see. Um, like right now, I'm. I don't really know uh, what was the situation uh, behind, but yeah, it must have been pretty bad. So yeah, I hope everyone uh, speedy recovery. Thank you very much, and good Thank you. Well, once again, thank you for your company today. We will be back at the regular time tomorrow, where hopefully we will have a happier day to share with you. Bye-bye.